What is going on? Traders John with Tactical Trading here. I have a video, uh, a sub penny stock that I'm very, very uh, bullish on uh, going into 2022. Uh, this is a play that we've talked about before on the channel um, for almost a, well over a year. Uh, in fact, uh, last year, uh, this company got a little push. Actually, um, right about when Strikeforce Technologies, SFOR, um, started getting its run and had its major run from sub penny all the way up to like 25 cents. And this company started getting some sympathy with it. Uh, it has a, had a similar product and has a similar product called Swarm Connect. And uh, it's an app for video conferencing. It really got everyone kind of into this um, <clears throat> into this play at the time. Uh, management started diluting. Um, and if we take a look here, I mean, the, the stock closed on Friday at 0 0.0089, up a percent. It's a pink current company, 30 million in volume. If we look at the security details, there's uh, 2 billion in the authorized. Uh, and at the time, I think there was a billion. And uh, there, right now there's 1.237 on the outstanding, which is ver still outstanding, uh, still very good, uh, no, no pun intended. But uh, to have about a billion in, in, the, in the DTC and half a billion in the float, I mean, this thing can move uh, if we start getting some, uh, you know, real volume in here, you know, 60, 70, 80, 100 million. This thing's going to start really scooting. Um, but they did start diluting and then people lost interest and um, the stock got beat up a little bit. Uh, Fast forward a uh, few months, and um, new CEO came in. And in fact, uh, I'm going to go to some uh, due diligence by Hawk Holdings, some really good stuff here. Um, he put out a DD package that um, pretty much breaks down almost everything that you need to know about the company here. And um, basically, we're going to start here um, at Swarm. Um, Let's see here. This is a uh, technology company specializing in accelerated development and publishing of mobile apps and other software platforms for gaming, business applications, and seeks to acquire symmetric business opportunities. AppSwarm partners with and assists other developmental firms in technology development, business management, and funding needs. Um, we take a look here. Uh, these guys, uh, the sectors that they're in, they're in the space sector, cloud computing, blockchain and NFT, which is absolutely huge. And then uh, they're also uh, mining Dogecoin and uh, Litecoin. The uh, Doge uh, mining, I believe that should be uh, up and running for, uh, first quarter this year. Um, the division, the new division they have is uh, Tulsa Labs. Uh, connections with the Tulsa Labs, uh, they have uh, connections with Doge and SHIB, IBM, SpaceX, NASA, Matic, and uh, FTM. They also have collaborations on apps and uh, other things with companies uh, such as KYNC, RIII, TGHI, GX, or GTXO, um, and in fact, uh, Touchpoint TGHI just had some news today. <clears throat> and you can see just right in here, uh, the uh, KYNC, they're focused on cryptocurrency and touchless payments. Uh, the RII, it's infrastructure, 5G. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, we can go here with uh, Tulsa Labs. Uh, they're launching their space research in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, they have worked uh, with such operations as SpaceX. Um, if we looked here, uh, Doge Moon Project should launch quarter one, 2022, and we'll be having lots of updates on that. Uh, so that's a very positive uh, thing here. If we look, the company's also into the metaverse. Company has begun developing metaverse projects from NFT uh, products to its own metaverse games and virtual realities. The company will explore acquiring assets within the metaverse, such as virtual re uh, virtual real estate and digital products, to help position the company within the emerging metaverse world. So, um, the same catalyst that drove uh, OWUV uh, from three cents, two cents, uh, all the way up to uh, sixty-five cents. Um, these guys have the same thing going on uh, very few, very soon this year. And um, with the share structure that they have, I know it's not the same uh, share structure, but this, these guys have under a billion shares in the float. And in fact, they have approximately about 500 million in the float. So um, 
I expect this company to be able to move once volume comes in. We also look at uh, the non-fungible token NFTs. Um, and they say we plan on us- utilizing NFTs for such things as virtual real estate, art, venue ticketing, and digital access uh, passes to platforms. Our NFT marketplaces will also provide a gateway into the metaverse, allowing traders to purchase metaverse-related products. And that is on their website, which I'll show you. That's NFT Madness IO. Um, blockchain applications to explore commercial applications off a number of blockchain protocols such as VeChain, IOTA, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and Dogecoin. Uh, also crypto mining. The company has begun hash mining for Dogecoin and Litecoin with plans to expand capacity with more rigs in 2022. So we have um, crypto mining uh, with more capacity coming on shortly, uh, blockchain applications, um, working with all kinds of protocols, uh, NFTs, um, developing NFTs, developing apps for NFTs, developing platforms to, to uh, trade NFTs, uh, also using NFTs, uh, you know, what they're basically made for is a uh, currency um, in the metaverse. And they're also looking and uh, purchasing land in the metaverse and also getting involved in the metaverse in other ways. They are involved uh, with TGHI and other companies as well um, for that. So you can look, we have, there's a lot of things going on here. I mean, you can look at the space applications. Um, uh, some of the areas of research include astronaut assistance, uh, mission design and planning, edge computing, satellite data processing, robotics, autonomous rovers, space debris tracking, navigation systems, and again, has worked with such operations as SpaceX. Now you also look, they uh, develop cloud and possible quantum computing for aerospace and uh, that's with IBM uh, developing NASA licensed uh, spaceport named Deep Sky One. Um, Tulsa Labs utility NFT products for Doge and that should be going live very soon Um, and again adding SHIB and more into the portfolio. Um, now, in January, we're looking for some announcements. Uh, the Space Research Lab, uh, potential uh, spaceport, um, they have developments that will be coming up, uh, looking to uh, develop our own cloud and possible quantum computing services. Um, also, expect a flurry of announcements from this project in January. So, um, we should be having a, uh, a plethora of catalysts coming up. We also look here, Doge Labs and Swarm. App Swarm is adding uh, SHIB to its blockchain research, so Doge and SHIB, and it will have its uh, Doge Labs that I will be uh, going over and showing you, and you just takes a look here what they go through, um, you know, deploying some of the nodes, and, you know, people a little more app and crypto would uh, be able to uh, decipher that rather easily. Um, then we got some, uh, after the holidays, NFT products for Dogecoin should go live. So you can, as you can see here, we, there's a lot of, uh, catalysts coming up here. And if you look, the, uh, app swarm investors own a sizable stake in Tulsa labs, one-time dividend to swarm shareholders for future, uh, for shares and future listings. So they're, they plan on actually possibly spinning this off. Um, and you can go through this DD. It's, it's, it's available right here on uh, right here on Twitter Hawk holdings excellent and if you take a look here even um, a tweet that they have out they just basically a recap of uh, some of the partnerships that they have and we can kind of take a look here I mean we can go to the app swarm website and they got the website for themselves and then you can go to NFT Madness. This is their site. Tulsa Labs Alpha Pass. This is for their NFTs and Metaverse. Here is Swarm Connect. This is their video conferencing. This is what initially got the the spark last year on these guys, and um, I think this is still a completely overlooked aspect of their business, especially with this. Uh, 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 I don't even want to say the words, but with this, uh, as I call it, the election infection. And you kind of see how I uh, lovingly called it the election infection long before the... <laughs> Anyways, we won't even get into that, folks. But uh, the um, the video conferencing solutions, I think this is absolutely huge. And with the new world that we live in, 
this is going to be another big part of the business. Um, and this is what I was talking about with the Swarm Connect. Now here is the uh, Tulsa Labs, um, probably one of the key aspects of this business. And all of these you can go look up. I mean, these are all the websites you can take a look at. And, and um, here's uh, Crypto Filings, another one of their websites. BitCharts. Here's their uh, Doge Labs. This is where they'll be doing the uh, Doge and Litecoin mining and um, the SHIB and all the research they'll be doing there. One Rig, their uh, ERC20 token project. And they're getting partnerships and collaborations with this with other, other, uh, <clears throat> you know, other. Uh, people that are making NFTs and creators and things of that nature. Creators, that's the word I was looking for there too. So, um, I mean, from what you can see, you know, what I can see here and what, I, what I've shown you here, and obviously, as I always state, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel should be taken as financial advice. This is all my opinion on my due diligence. Um, this, is, this is what I see and I'm going to tell you what. There's a lot, a lot of plays over over the last year and a half that I've been excited about, and I, you know, um, you know, when we started to one of the top, it was D, uh, DSGT, and um, you know, I got bashed and banged on that play. It took a while to work out. At ten cents, to seven cents, to four cents, to seven cents, and we finally broke our dollar and got to a dollar forty four. Um, in fact, one of our videos here uh, had S S I R C at uh, I think three cents. Uh, TSNP at uh, a third of a penny, um, and and I believe that another one that went uh, uh, I think a hundred times. Um, there's been some some plays on this channel, and there's some plays that I've had conviction on. Now I'm not saying this is my top play. I mean, obviously, of all the plays that I've I, I you know went through, um, when I when I see Nihilus, that was one that I said this one home run can't miss, and um, I played it as such. I feel very confident about Fern. Uh, that going into the year was, you know, this year's. Um, but looking at everything that these guys have, um, hey, it, it kind of it puts these guys right at the top of the list. I'm not saying they're the, the, the best. Um, they still have a lot to prove. Um, but the potential is here. That that's that the potential with the share structure. Um, it, it's here to really get a nice substantial move. Um, now we can go look in, uh, through here at some of the press releases um, over the past few months. And we can just go back to no November. Um, Doge Labs update their uh, Dogecoin node. I mean, you can see they're pretty active as far as putting out uh, press releases as well, too. Uh, AppSwarm announces their agreement with uh, RIII on the infrastructure and smart city development. So, I mean, you can see where this is going with the smart cities, and you can see where the future is going, and these guys are right there pegged and positioned to move right along with that and and, and grow significantly. And, and, and they're in several different areas, and being that they're developing um applications for all these different um all these different hot sectors it puts them in such a prime position to to, to, to pull revenues from everywhere so and one sector gets slow the other one's hot the other one's hot the other one's not and and they've got their core business just circulating so i mean i, I really like what these guys got going on um app swarm to launch nft marketplace to support growing metaverse so that was on december 2nd so i mean they're all over the place. Uh, let's see here. Uh, again, a collaboration with Touchpoint. They launched their NFT Madness. Um, the marketplace is live on Polygon, and that was on the 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. And then Touchpoint begins development of aerial NFT products for Metaverse, and that was uh, on January 4th. So, uh, perfect time to be done with the video the the, the heat kicks on and um and that's really all i got for you um i really can't be um couldn't be more bullish on a play um again 
again, I'm not saying this is the, the, the um, this is the most the, the, the most bullish I've ever been on a play. That's that's not the case. Um, but going into this year, right now, this is right there with one of my top plays. Right there, I can see if we we take this video from right now. A year from now, or on New Year's Eve, we could take a look at this video. I am pretty confident we're going to at least have an 8 to 10 bagger on this one. So uh, that's all I got for you today. Uh, again, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence. Um, go on the websites. Go on, uh, you know, go everywhere. Go on the the. Uh, the Twitter page for uh, Absalom. They're pretty active on their Twitter. Um, I implore you to go to Hawk Holdings, go through all his due diligence, and then go check it out. Cross-reference it, you know, verify. Um, and, um, you know, make your make a decision. See if this is good for you. But uh, uh, as a sub-penny play with the float it has, I, to me almost, uh, I don't want to say a can't miss because there's no such thing as a can't miss. But, but this is a very solid play. So uh, that's all I got for you today. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. And as always, let's get them money, traders.